Group three. Act three. Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Maycumber, acting as Dan <laughs> Acting as John Proctor, Mexican. I'm Brittany Embry, and I'm acting as Mexican and Hail. Hey, girl. My name is Alex Vitols, and I am acting as. I never had no wife to be so taken with books, and I thought to find the cause of it, you see? But it were no Mexican that I blamed her of. I broke charity with my wife. I broke charity with her. This is an example of pathos because he is sorrowful that he broke trust with his wife and got her arrested. A fire, a fire is burning. I hear the boot of George Lopez. I see his filthy face, and it is my face, and yours stand forth, for them that quail to bring men out of ignorance, as I have quailed, and as you quail now, when you know in all your black hearts that this be fraud. God damns our kind especially, and we will burn. We will burn together. Marshal, take him in court with him to jail. I denounce these proceedings. You are pulling heaven down and raising up a whore. I denounce these proceedings. I quit this court. Mr. Hale, Mr. Hale. Example of pathos, because after all this, eff all his effort to see the truth, they shut him down, and he releases his rage with his paragraph explaining how everyone is wrong, and they don't see the truth, so they all will go to hell. Why could there have not been poppets hit where no ever assault him? There might be a dragon with five legs in my house, but no one ever saw it neither. This is logos, logos because, because, like, um, obvi, there's no five legged yeah. dragon, and especially in his closet. Uh huh. Duh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Four hundred are in jail because my signature. I. And seventy-two can hang by my signature. This is ethos because it shows Danforth's power. Let me continue. I understand well. A husband's tenderness may drive him to extravagance in defense of a wife. Are, sir, and in your conscientious, mister, that your evidence is true. It is, and you will surely know it, is it? Yep. Yep. This is ethos because Danforth is establishing his credibility. looks nowhere in your heart, nor hidden in your spirit, any desire to undermine this court. Why, no, sir. This is another example of Danforth establishing his credibility. It's a sort of testament. The people signing it declare their good opinion of Rebecca, my wife, Martha, and Martha Corey. Proctor is giving Rebecca, his wife, and Martha Corey good credibility. Hey, sir, she swears she never jumped the border, nor saw any Mexican spirits jumping the border.
vague or clean, that Border Control have sent to her. She declares her friends are now lying. This is ethos because what Proctor is saying to Danforth is that the girls are lying and then what he says is the truth. This establishes his credibility. You're hearing lies. Lies! Excellency, we have proof for your eyes. God forbid you shut them to it. Hey. The girls, sir, the girls are frauds. Give me a whip, I'll stop it. They're sporting, they! <laughs> Estas deportes, they're sporting, por favor. Abby, I pass, por favor. Abby, Abby I pass, por favor. Stop it! <laughs> por favor, I pass. Stop it! Sin talento, Abby. por favor. No, por favor. All three of these were examples of repetition. The author did this in order to emphasize on importance of certain subjects and to show meaning. <laughs> Diction is used to showcase the difference in social rank and status between the judges and people of Salem. Proctor seems to be the only villager able to to compete with the vocabulary and power of the judges. It's our party, we can do what we want. It's our party, we can say what we want. It's our party. Yeah, I'll be Border Patrol. No, Border Patrol, run! Sophie! A fire! No! Don't do my magic trick. Oh, okay. Feeling my way through the dark